Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 34 of Assassin's Creed Unity. In the previous episode, we started off with the Killed by Science murder mystery, which is up in the Vendome district, which is actually the murder mystery that you unlock as part of the Secrets of the Revolution pack. So, once again, I'm still very confused as to why that showed up when the rest of it isn't, but hey oh. So, it's basically solving what turned out to be an accidental murder when someone was trying to hijack someone's science experiment to also have to have a lab right behind where the cannonball was set to go off. <laughs> um, we completed, I think it was then, the final two missions of the social club in the Vendome district. Um, so yeah, we did that, which means that we've completely liberated these three districts in the, the Louvre area. And we finished up with the body politic, I think is what it was called, which is another murder mystery, which is basically, uh, I think two people on opposing sides, one was royalist, one was... Uh, revolutionary and they're falling out and so he goes assassinated the other one or something along those lines I can't quite remember um so yeah before we head into the second memory of sequence seven which we mean to do for a while as you can see uh, assassin points wise if I don't manage to buy everything today or at least upgrade everything today then I <laughs> I'm gonna be quite surprised because I said 80k was a push and I've gone for 100k because I got there I just thought yeah it's only an extra 20k should be fine so i've done that and got a bit over so hopefully with that money wise again you know it's we're just gonna see how we do with that because everything we're getting is very pricey at this point so we'll see but anyway let's finally get on with memory two mirabond used to be warned about the discovery of shaman's real identity go to his estate and fill him in okie dokie uh, so he's upstairs oh dear oh uh, so Elise should already be here, I believe. She we told her to uh, meet us Monsieur Mirabeau? at uh, Mirabeau's district, in uh, his place, I mean. Anybody home? Elise? Oh Elise? dear. What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be the suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. Well, looks like we're doing another murder mystery. Well, at least it's uh, synced up with the court missions now. <laughs> So that's how uh, Mirabeau dies. Oh. Requiescat in pace. You have earned your rest, brother. Oh dear. What is that? Templar. It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Some fire relief. lift. Well, that's the point. Come trying to frame Elise. Wait, no, it's Elise. Not Elise, sorry. Hmm. We'll go through all these um, entries once we're done. A handkerchief. A lady's handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Hmm. I think it seems like somebody is trying to frame Elise. So, another poison glass. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Okay, there's everything upstairs it seems. Oh no. Oh. A book. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kema. I don't know who that is. Is that one of the the guys? No, I can't not accuse. I'm not accusing Elise, you kidding me? Why does he disappear? It's odd. 
Uh, okay, let's have a look at those uh, database things, in case it helps. Handkerchief, a scented lady's handkerchief, and a private book showing that Mishirabo had a meeting with Master Kema. This class contains residue of aconite, a poison often used by Templars. It's a poor badge of office that pulls double duty as a murder weapon. Okay. Thought it might have been a bit more to that, but okay. Anywho. Let's go and speak with Master Kema then. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You'll have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course. But I do know of an apothecary in La Marais who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Okay. Master came on of a shifty apothecary that specializes in backroom deals. Okay, I'm not going to accuse him. I don't think he's guilty. I really don't know, to be honest. Like, like I said, it has been a while since I played uh, through this story. So I think when I, when I find out inevitably who it is, I'll be like, oh, of course it was. But at the moment, I'm stumped. I cannot remember who, who, uh, who done it. I think we find out, don't we? It would make sense. Uh, of course we can fast travel. Uh, well then, I suppose I shall see you when we speak to the apothecary. I thought you might need some help. I think I can handle a lone druggist. A lone druggist? Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might answer. Not again! What the hell? Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! Slow down! Say that I'm off, you fool. Okay. It's over and under. Over and under. Hey! Don't be doing that. It's not cool. I just have a few questions. Oh, sugar. Hey, everyone needs to get out my goddamn face. It's pretty simple. You can't see me. Does it like stick out of like and trip him up or something? Come on. <laughs> got him. Oh, no, no, I took it to Gotcha. Silly bastard. talking about you you're with the other one aren't you the hooded man tell me about this other one who is he i don't know i never saw his face ah! he threatened to kill me if i didn't give him the poison i didn't ask questions ah! i keep only a small quantity in stock he took that straight away but he told me where to drop off the second dose second dose here that's all I know, I swear it! Go 
on then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. <laughs> well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Oh, we're waiting for another court mission in the district, is what we're waiting for. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this uh, in the last episode, but I know that sequence 7 is supposed to be a four memory sequence. It is technically uh, three memories. It's been like, I think, was it back in sequence 3, where the last memory is another rift mission, uh, which obviously will unlock another couple of... Uh, mods that we can do and grab artifacts from and save assassins and all that. So we'll be getting to that. Well, next time we do a mission, but we've obviously got uh, the Women's March court mission to do before then, as well as this uh, last district up north, which is the Fidure. Is that how you pronounce it? I have no idea. But the thing for the viewpoint doesn't appear to be too far away. Oh, I got money. Whee. Jump down, jump down. But if I'm not mistaken, I think sequence 8 is quite short. And sequence, sequence 9 is pretty like average, I think it's like 3 memories. There aren't many sequences that are that long in this game. Not like the good old days where Assassin's Creed 2 had you with 14 sequences and about at least like 6 or 7 in every sequence. Nope, gone other days. <laughs> Although I think the Syndicate, from what I remember, actually has a fair few. No! It's the wrong way. There's a fair few uh, memories per sequence. But also, I think it's a. I can't, I'm not sure if London is uh, smaller than Paris in terms of game size. So, I think we're talking way ahead there. We're only just past 50% <laughs> from Unity. It's going to be, I assume, it's going to be quite a while before we head on over to Victorian London. Well, I'm very excited. It is a very underrated game, if you ask me. But, I personally think that we might be a little a little bit over 50% of this game. I think it's going a bit slow. I think it's because the Paris stories and murder mystery and all that don't actually add as much of a percentage as the main story missions do. Just how it is. Alright, well, you know the drill. We're going to do a little collectible run today. Uh, so starting off, let's just make our way... Uh, in a circle. Go on. Come on, come on, effort. There you go. Don't have to thank me. Okay, we got a cockade over here. Whoop. No, do, 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 no, ah oh, no! Please stop it. Just, just climb. Just do it. Yeah, just do that if you have to. Sure. Let's see. Chest over here. Just go. Oh, please. Just choose a direction. Oh, we got a color scheme. Nice. All right. Just, okay. Fair dues. Definitely be sure to apply that before the next, well, when we're doing our next uh, run through of upgrades. Uh, let's see. Stick around this way. Okay, what's going on here? Ooh. Got a uh, 
artifact over here. Artifact. Scrub you. Thank you. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to finish off the Louvre set because one of them is um, in that room with the murder mystery that we can't do. And I happen to know that one of the locked away clothing items is unlocked as a result of finishing all the artifacts in the Louvre. But we'll get we'll get to all of them eventually, so I'm not too worried about anything. Uh, Needs to be more haystacks in this city. Excuse me. Whoa. <laughs> Stay in that one mother and it got right in there and took it. I can't believe it. Just blows my mind how British all these Parisians are. Okay. Head on up to the tower. So hopefully we get all the collectibles done today. Next episode, obviously, we definitely will be starting up with Women's March. Uh, whoop. And then we might be able to, because we, we, what have we actually got? We've got a Paris story. We've got three Paris stories and a enigma. So, not an awful lot. There we go, cool. That's all the artifacts we can currently collect. Chest up this way. Not too far away. Oh, sorry. No, Arno, get out. Get, get, get out of the haste, like Arno. Yeah, what you said. Hmm. I'm tempted to do this Paris story, which is like right here. So we're probably going to have a little bit of spare time at the very least. The end. Let's see. Marianne returns home. Marianne has locked herself in a shed to train for revenge, help her reclaim her, reclaim her family home. You're wondering perhaps what I'm doing? I am a little curious. My parents were denounced by our neighbour. And though they had done nothing wrong, they were executed. The neighbor then took our own. I've grieved the loss of my family long enough. I want to take back my own. Teach me how to fight. Okay, this isn't an escort mission, is it? Got nothing to do. All right, Marianne. Come at me, and I'll parry your attacks. Okay, come on. This Show me again. Strike through the target. That's fair. I've got to get this right. Well done. Come on, let's have you. That's good enough. It is time to get my parents' house back. I don't think that's a sufficient training to doing that, but there you are. Oh, she's running. My family. My parents were executed the very next day. I'm ahead of you, lady. They took my family home. I must take it back. Oh yeah, any time today I'll do. Let's go! That's my ass there. Okay. Thank God they're not too far away. My great grandfather built the house with his own hands. What are you so talking about here, love? That's my house there. You said that when we were around the corner. I, I'm not convinced you actually know where you live. You just keep. <laughs> Okay. 
Hey. You know what, they just decided not to counter. Hey. Chilling downstairs. So well fought, Marianne. You kidding me? Well fought. Do nothing. Just making our way upstairs, just about. Oh, yeah, thanks. Come on, thieves and murderers. Oh, Mother's silver thimbles. These were a gift when she came of age. Merci, monsieur. I will treasure the memories I've recovered. Cranky O'Reilly. Right then. So. Let's check out this lock chest. See if we can crack it. Okay, there we go. I don't know how much luck we're going to have with all these lock chests. I expect because of the difficulty of the region, most of them are going to be level 3. Across the window can that will not tell us anything. Well, at least we can lock the door. That's a good start. to counter. So thank you very much for that. Right, what have we got? Level 3, no doubt? Yeah. Okay, up in arms. Destroy a cache of defective armaments. Monsieur Robespierre, I've succeeded in beguiling some workshops near the Barrier de Ma des Matre into use of defective materials in the manufacture of military armaments. I have further arranged for the defective arms to be delivered to the troops commanded by Captain Bonaparte. I think we can be certain that the young captain's rising star will soon begin to fall. Sinju. Okay. It's all the way over there. Well, I expect this is going to be more of an episode of Paris Stories than Lock Chests, that's for sure. See you over there. Okay, I've decided that whilst we're making our way over, I might as well check out the lock chest so I'm not backtracking for no reason whatsoever. Uh, but this one down here appears to be level 2, so let's crack you open. Thank you. And we're right next to an underground entrance. So this could lead to another level 3, or it could lead to a level 2. Maybe even a level 1. Who knows. 
Okay, we're in the armaments area. And I've checked almost all the little chests and they are the, the bloody lovely level threes, I can tell you that much. Sabotage that armament. Just leaves one more. Come on, man. Let's get it over with. Right. Sabotage the armament. Actually, no, that's another district. So I've checked all of the chests now. <laughs> In the entire district, there was only. Was it one? Or possibly two that were level two chests? No, a single level one. Yeah, that's going to be a fun time for sequence nine, isn't it? But alright, it just leaves only one regular chest and a cockade, and we should be done. side missions. Two Paris stories. It just leaves a Paris story and a Enigma. Could possibly get that finished next time. Who knows? Who knows? Just depends on how long the uh, Women's March mission takes. Oh dear. Oh diddly dear. Up we go. So shall we go away? Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Shoot the bloody mountain goat. I'm not a mountain goat. I can see where the confusion comes into play. Right. Can you get off my case because I need to fast travel? Thank you. Alright. Not too shabby. I mean, I say not too shabby. That's a disgraceful amount of lot chests, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Not yet, anyway. So let's head back. We'll uh, claim our money and we shall spend it. Of course, I need to remember run to a new colour next time. I can remember where the actual cockade placement was. Busy day ahead, sir. Busy day completed, my friend. Busy day completed. Alright, cool. Let's pop out. So first of all, let's look at our progress checker. So we're up to 53%, so a 2% increase. We've completed memory 2, uh, sequence 7. Uh, we're up to 53% Paris stories and 50% miscellaneous. Go to customization. Uh, weapons, we're on 2. If we've got a little long. Sorry, heavy. Uh, the heavy morning star. This medieval monstrosity was designed to punch through plate armor. Upgrade it. Uh, again, we'll uh, leave pistols. Not quite ready for that, that upgrade yet. Equipment colours. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. It wasn't that one. It's a beige ghost. Could have been. 
So it has a bright plumage. Okay. Uh, head. So we've not unlocked anything, from, as far as I'm aware. So if we come down, we are now on two. The legendary Napoleonic hood. This hood was worn by one of Napoleon's most trusted lieutenants. Well, let's take it a dint to it. All right. Chest. Apply me. Legendary Napoleonic coat. This coat was worn by one of Napoleon's most trusted lieutenants. Well, I don't think we could have to afford anything else. Oh, great. Fun times. I'm actually wearing armor. That's that's crazy. Forearms. Uh, the legendary sun color braces spotted with the blood of a true hero of the revolution. These braces are the sigma of liberty, egalite, fraternity. So we are going to have to come back for that one. Shame. And the legendary perler belt. This belt burns with the greatest scoundrels unhanged. Again, we can't afford it. Fan dabby dozy. Uh, so we're on to the legendary saint color trousers. Died of the blood of a true hero of the revolution. These trousers are symbol of liberty, guarantee, fraternity. Again, we can't bloody afford him. Which is all fan dabby freaking dozy. It's annoying, but sure. <sighs> Never mind. A database, encyclopedia, people, Paris stories with Marianne. Miscellaneous events, we got the death of Mirabeau. Uh, okay, that is it. So, between this episode and the next, I'm going to make sure that we have our correct braces, legs, and uh, belt. So we're all ready for another adventure, of which we shall be starting up the final court mission, which is Women's March. Obviously it's not our last court outing, we still have a whole host of heists to do yet, which we'll just take over from that spot. But I expect if we have enough time afterwards, we shall be finishing up in... Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. Good morning, sir. Uh, in uh, Fedja, and hopefully picking up the... Now is that Venus Enigma and also the Constructing a Close Shave Paris story, which should take us right up for finishing up sequence seven in the following episode. Very nicely done. So that's what we're gonna end it for today, but not for I think my amazing patrons. My five Pampus patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three Pampus patrons in the description down below. And on screen your street credits all my one Pampus patrons. Thank you so much everyone. It's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can find a link in the description down below as my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did be sure to like and subscribe and I'll be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 35. Bye guys.